I'm gonna pass out. That was terrible. Since the office left Scranton, PA, the paper industry in Pennsylvania has been completely collapsing. No, God, please, no! When institutions as powerful and as massive as Dunder Mifflin exist, the world is a better place. Damn it, I'm sick of this mediocrity, so I'm gonna try to make it a better place by creating paper woodworking products. Introducing my new business, the Malecki Muffin Paper Company. We're making tools out of paper. Let's go. So the inspiration for this experiment is coming from the TikTok I did a few months ago where I used paper as a saw blade. Oh! And I cut foam, we did other paper, we did some wood. Um, but this time I really wanna beef it up and see if I can make an actual real working saw blade. The first thing I wanna try here is taking each sheet individually, I'll put it in a mold, that way it doesn't drip everywhere, and then I'm gonna vacuum press everything together in order to get as tight of a bond and as thin as a sheet as I possibly can. Typical saw blade kerf is around 1 8 of an inch. I'd like to be close to that final on this. So our sheets have been drying for a few days. Let's see what we got. Okay. Okay. That's not sounding good. Not as sturdy as I was hoping. Oh, that one's peeling apart. See, I'm wondering if I should have like... <laughs> we're, de we're delaminating over here. Oh no. I think I need to put them in another bath. First off, I don't want to see any comments asking why there's a pizza in resin. Not a single one. Like if you put a comment down below, I probably won't respond to it. I'm just gonna mix up some high performance resin here and just set these suckers in it. Hopefully give them just a good soak. All right, well, we'll see you in a bit. All right, so these things are dry. Now, hopefully they don't explode apart once I crack them out of the mold. Dude, what the hell was that? Did someone just fart? Oh no, it's a zombie. Thank God for state of survival zombie wars or I wouldn't know how to destroy this idiot. Ah, first thing I gotta do is fuel up. Ah, yes, let's attack. Ah, that's what we forgot. I need a weapon. Ah, ah, ah. Ah, all right, where's that prick at? State of Survival is a free-to-play zombie-themed survival strategy mobile game available on Android, iOS, and Windows. State of Survival is the best time-killing game you can play this holiday season where you can build and design your own settlements and use different tactics and strategies to defend yourself from clowns like this idiot who just walked into my shop. If you use the code on the screen, you can get the badass free rare hero Rusty, who's an absolute total monster, 300 bio caps, 50,000 food, 50,000 wood, and 50,000 metal, along with 1,000 chief EXP resources to help you level up even faster. Dude, I love food, wood, and metal. That's awesome. Like I said, you can download using the link below or the QR code on the screen to play the game right now. And if you're on the PC version, you will enjoy a bonus of 20% off your first purchase with three login coupons, 5% off topping off your website. And you can do that by using the exclusive code for PC, play SOS on PC. Thank you State of Survival for sponsoring this video. Without you, I may not survive this brutal attack. There you are. Man, these things are dark. I literally almost killed you with this ridiculous weapon because I thought you were a zombie Santa this whole time. I was just trying to find the fridge. Why the hell are you like grunting? Because I've been eating leftovers since Thanksgiving. Mm -hmm. No, that is disgusting. You might want to get that looked at. Now that that idiot's out of here, crack these suckers out of the mold. Hopefully that tactic worked to like firm these up a bit. First and foremost, I'm gonna tidy these up on the bandsaw and cut all this excess of resin. So, a lot of you complained in the TikTok video about me not just tracing a saw blade. So that's what we're gonna do on this guy. I'm not gonna be able to make the teeth the exact same shape. It'd be nice to use the CNC here. Okay, now we need to cut out. <sighs> yeah, so I was gonna run it through the sander next to get it all thickness. It's tearing apart. Oh no. Yeah, see how it blew apart in there? Uh, see all that inside there? Like, 
it's like the epoxy went away. It literally just like looks and sounds like construction paper right now. Yeah, it doesn't feel like it had any epoxy on it at all. And I mean, the vacuum might have pulled like a lot of resin out. I don't know. But maybe I just put the resin in it and then put a weight on it. All right, that's two days down the hole. This experiment, I need to redo. So I gotta get more paper. Excuse me. All right, so I went ahead ooh, and epoxied more of these paper together. Pop it out. I'll clean it up on the bandsaw like I did the other ones. Hopefully, these don't delaminate. All right, so I set up this jig so I can cut what's going to be the round part of the gullet in the saw curve. And then I'll go and relieve those on the uh, bandsaw. I literally have no clue what I'm doing at this point, so we're just winging it. Let's go. It's kind of working. We got a little bit of delamination. This thing's gonna explode in the saw. John, what are you doing? No, I'm just fucking getting weird. If you're a woodworker, you can see where this is going. So the goal here is I'm just trying to put a tape, a beveled cut. I'm just gonna spin this around while the saw blade's spinning at the, and it'll create an angle. It's about to get weird. Don't do this one at home, my friends. <laughs> see how much thinner it is? And if I ruin it, we just make the blade smaller. <laughs> I think I might have pushed the limits. Lost a bunch of teeth because the paper got a little bit unrigid. Should we reinforce it with some CA glue? I mean, it's pretty, they're pretty sturdy, the ones that survive. I'm going to think about it. And while I think about it, let's make a chisel. So way back when, hold on, I think I still have one. Sam and I tried to make a chisel out of resin. And we could not get this thing to be sharp enough to cut anything. So what I think I'm gonna do is try that again. So I've been putting some CA glue all over my floor, but mostly onto the edge of my saw blade to try and harden it. I think I'm gonna do the same thing with this before we start, start fussing with it. I think there's a playbook for this crap. Basically, like if we can get this bottom to like a polished near finish, <laughs> which I highly doubt, <laughs> we're gonna have a better chance of getting this thing to cut. So it's kind of working. I'm gonna try it on the leather strop. I'm gonna steal the handle from this guy. Then I gotta make this tang. I'm just gonna make it a little bit smaller. That looks like a damn chisel made out of paper, huh? I mean, it's decently sturdy. You have any Rubio left over? I'm just gonna paint her pretty, like one of your French girls. I'm not gonna lie. It looks pretty awesome. First test. Will paper cut paper? <laughs> no. If I start it, it does nothing, no. So just for reference, it's pretty dull. I just sharpened one of those. Oh, I used it to pry glue over here. Well, my chisels need sharpened. So like, it's, it's got a polished edge. One more shot. Done. <laughs> My paper chisel. Now I can go on the wall of shame. You had a good chance at life. Because none of us around here pay attention, I wanna just make sure everyone knows this that this is paper. Malaki muffin, paper company. Now that we're branded, let's finish. It is now game time. We're gonna test four different items. We've got regular computer paper, 
piece of construction paper, which is what the blade's made out of, quarter inch MDF, and a chunk of walnut for the true test. If it makes it to the walnut, I will be highly surprised. Let me know down below, how many of these do you think this is gonna actually cut through? What's usually the most nervous part for me is uh, turning it on for the first time. So here we go. Don't explode. Oh, baby! <laughs> That's absolutely terrifying. It is horrifying. Absolutely horrifying. I think it's off axis. It's obviously gonna cut the paper. I am, oh! I mean, I don't know about you guys. That was exciting. It's definitely gonna cut, I mean, this is, It's good. <laughs> oh, but I guess next is to do the MDF, which is basically like really, really, really thick paper. Oh, goodness. Oh, be a man. Be a man. <laughs> it smells so bad. It's smoky. Good thing we don't have smoke alarms. That's quarter inch thick, MDF, and, it, and I don't know if it cut or burned through or whatever it did, it kind of worked. Tyler, I think, oh man. You nervous? No. Oh. <laughs> it absolutely smoked the blade. Is it gonna survive this cut? When I did this for the TikTok, it didn't survive. Those are some of the, I'm gonna pass out. <laughs> oh, oh, that was terrible. The fumes and the lack of oxygen and then me yelling, I almost died right there. Come in, inspect the damage. Raise this sucker up and get a good look at it. I mean. She's absolutely smoked. It is literally smoked. Check the blue side out. But I gotta say, it cut wood, and I am baffled, baffled by that fact. I was not expecting that. I thought this thing was gonna explode into like 200 pieces um, and hit me in the face. So I'm calling that a win. Uh, if you guys wanna see me build more weird stuff out of weird stuff and then cut other stuff, I need your suggestions. Leave them down below, and then go watch this crazy video right here. <laughs>